Beers I see ordered most often are Haybag, Montana One, and Razoo. Definitely our Haybag, Hefeweizen, and our Juicy IPA. Haybag takes the cake, and Montana One is a plus sign. Haybag is one of the most popular, both in the tap room and out uh, around the state where you can buy four packs, but Montana One is getting close to that. Out in the tap room and out and about, and then when Red Zoo's available in the cans, it does as well as hay bag. But tap room, mostly hay bag, is the go to. There are people that haven't tried craft beer before and they think that they might want some a certain style. Um, a lot of them tend to go for something like, well, I had an IPA before, I want to try an IPA. And I will introduce them to something new. Um, and later, like for example, a Pilsner. The pattern I see most often is when people see or try Razoo and end up loving it. One of my favorite reactions that we see is people being surprised at how good all of our beers are. And I think it's, the surprise is not, I think there's people making not so good beers, but I also think it's because we're in a, such a small town mm -hmm. and we're so remote that they're like, wow, there's this really great brewery way off the beach. Yeah, so I like to see the reactions of people when they try multiple different ones and they're like, it's all, they're all good, you can't decide. An interesting thing that I've found is finding people that haven't um, had a lot of craft beer and introducing them to that slowly. Uh, might be with starting with something simple like a Razoo, raspberry wheat, or a Pilsner. Um, I enjoy trying to get them to start, try a flight where they can sample actually four different styles. And I find it really fun when they go out of their comfort zone and enjoy something they've never had before. Well, my generation seems to be a fan of the IPAs. They won't even need to taste it. They'll just say, I'll have your IPA. Skiers, I think, will come in and want to warm up with the orange porter or honestly the oatmeal milk stout. <laughs> Locals love hay bag. <laughs> Um, this time of year, skiers tend to like IPAs or something dark after they've been skiing, and visitors love to try a flight. Oh, I guess, yeah, like in the winter, something dark, it's pretty common, especially people that are coming in off snowmobiling or skiing or whatever. I see people leaning towards beers that might be new to them, for example, our Montana One GC IPA. I like to sample that to people and have them see their reaction with a hoppy beer deciding, oh, I actually do like something hoppy. I've noticed that people will, you know our beers are good when they order full pints of three different types of beers, like they'll go from a Montana one, the Juicy IPA, to a Corners coffee porter, and then bounce back over to a Saison, and so, and no complaints, and they love it. When people try the pumpkin spice barley wine, um, they don't want to be basic, <laughs> but they end up loving it. <laughs> I think one of my favorite ones is the coffee porter drinkers and how diehard they are about coffee porter. It's like anyone else that they order a red zoo and we're out that day, they're like, oh, then I'll just have an otter water. Coffee porter drinkers, like 90% of them just turn around and leave. And it's just like, that's their one beer and that's it.